Welcome to Philip Capital's Weekly Market Watch. Today, we have with us Inspector Lin Chong, CFD dealer from Philip Securities, who will share with us a well-known anomaly termed the Capricorn Effect. So, Magdalene, could you share with us the significance of the Capricorn Effect and its impact on the markets? Uh, well, Capricorn Effect is also known as the January Effect. Uh, it is a very well-documented anomaly. Um, anyone who is interested to do trading, uh, I think they should take some time to acquaint themselves with this anomaly. Uh, well, to define Capricorn Effect, it is a general increase in share prices in the month of January. Um, there are savvy traders uh, who know about this anomaly. They will usually take positions in the month, take long positions uh, in the month of December, and subsequently liquidate their positions in January after share prices have risen. Um, well, research has uh, shown that this anomaly, this anomaly is worth uh, considering if you want to have better returns. Are there any evidence in support of this anomaly? Okay, a study documented in the Financial Analysis Journal in year 2006 looked at the average stock market return from 1802 to 2004. Um, it found that January return premiums was positive 60.9% of the time, uh, meaning to say January returns when compared to the rest of the 11 months return, they tend to be higher 60.9% um, of the time. Uh, in the past, also, it was thought that Capricorn effect was due to investors who locked in their losses at the year end for tax reasons, um, and then they repurchased them back in January. Okay, um, but however, um, international evidence also suggests a January effect for countries with different tax years and in countries with no capital gains taxes. Do you think the Capricorn effect will exhibit its influence in 2009? Um, well, I have reasons to believe it will occur again this coming January. Um, well, in the previous market watch, I've mentioned two significant events that will occur in January. Uh, mainly, uh, the market will, is looking forward to Obama's taking office um, and he's looking forward to his budget announcement in January. And also locally, we have our government's budget to look forward to. So these three events will have the potential to sustain a short-term rally. And, and furthermore, you know, if you consider the price earnings ratio for STI, um, it is at a PE of six only. And it is the lowest in Asia, you know. And to put things in perspective, we look at Hang Seng. Hang Seng is trading with a P of 8.7. Shanghai is 14, and Dow Jones is 10. And you know, even Thailand is trading with a P of uh, 7. So the potential for upset for a local market does exist. The Capricorn effect is said to be a small cap phenomenon. What are your views on that? Uh, yes, I do agree that studies have shown the general effect to have a larger impact on small cap than on large cap counters. And I wish to highlight two things here. Uh, well, firstly, China government to you know to stimulate the economy have pledged 600 billion. Uh, many China counters are back in favor now, and most of these counters are now considered small cap uh, due to the ruthless sell down for the past one year. So, Capricorn effects uh, may coincide with China play to boost the share prices. And second thing that I'd like to highlight is uh, it is possible um, that our blue chips may rally in January because you take a look at the charts and you'll find that almost half of them um, are trading above with the 50-day moving average. Now, I think uh, barely a month ago, um, they were all trading below. So I think technically wise, it shows that um, there's a potential for these counters uh, for a short-term rebound. Um, and perhaps the trend has also changed from bearishness to um, sideways trending. Is there a possibility this trading strategy based on Capricorn effect will fail? Uh, yes, there is always a possibility of loss uh, when it comes to trading. Uh, traders should note that despite all the positive events that I've mentioned above, uh, they, should, they should not forget that earnings season is just around the corner and companies will announce their earnings I think sometime in mid-January till too much. And since we are in a very bleak economic outlook, the figures that comes up are likely to be very grim as well. Um, so other than this, I think other factors that can have uh, effect on or distort the effectiveness of the strategy um, also includes the timing of the trader's entry and exit points uh, and a black swan event, uh, meaning an unexpected and a, or, and a rare event uh, that has impact on the financial market. Thank you, Magdalene, for your time. That's all we have for you today, so tune in next week for more market updates.